Welcome back, Fungi Files. Today, we start our outdoor cultivation journey by inoculating some dowel pins with some shiitake culture. Let's get right into it. This portion is pretty straightforward. All we're gonna be doing is boiling and hydrating all of these dowels with some clean water. After they've boiled, we'll let them soak for about 24 hours before we go to pressure cook them. These are all 3 8 2 inch dowel pins. You could just cut your own dowels. Uh, I'm just doing this. You'll need about 50 to 100 for a single log. So realistically, this is only about one log's worth. So we'll probably just be doing shiitake to start. But let's go ahead and cover this all in water and get it boiling. Cover these. Just enough water. And go ahead and start to boil that. We'll bring this to a boil, stir them, and then let this cool down, cover it, and let it soak for the next 24 hours. with everything about al dante right now we can uh, go ahead and turn off the heat i'm just going to move it to a back part of the stove cover it and let it soak until tomorrow about 24 hours from now we will go ahead and jar this all up get a little bit of hardwood fuel pellets on top and uh, a little bit of grain on top of that using the renegade method it's the next day now we have our dowels that have soaked for about 48 hours they should be totally fine. They were boiled and then soaked. So now that we have the dowels ready, it's time to prepare the oats and the hardwood. All I'll do is boil some water, soften the oats just a little bit, and then pour about a cup of water with those oats into about a cup of dry hardwood pellets. That'll saturate, make a nice little sawdust, and we can put the hydrated grain right on top. Let's go ahead and get that done. And I'll just be using the same pot. So all I'm gonna do is kind of fill both of these mason jars about three quarters of the way full with these hydrated dowels. It's probably good for the first one. There's both of the jars full. Now we'll go ahead and boil some water to soften some whole oats and then moisten up some hardwood fuel pellets. And this portion is pretty straightforward. We're just gonna boil a little over a cup of water to soften some oats and then soften some hardwood pellets. It's about a quarter cup of oats that we'll be putting into this boiling water. And just letting those soften up. We're also letting some of this additional water boil off before we add in a little over a quarter cup of dried hardwood fuel pellets. And with the oats softened for about 10 minutes, we're gonna go ahead and turn off the heat and throw in all these hardwood fuel pellets. Then we can just stir it all up doesn't that just look delectable? If I were a mushroom, I'd love that. Let's let it all cool down before we jar it up. In this part, it'll be easy enough. We have our soaked dowel pins here. So for about 48 hours. We have our, our saturated oats and hardwood sawdust, which I just used hardwood fuel pellets and saturated those. And now we're going to top both of these, cover them with a modified lid. Make sure that I have one with an injection port because this is using Renegade's method for liquid culture spawn plugs. So these will have nice injection ports and this nice food on the very top of the plugs for the mycelium to get established and then colonize through those plugs where we can eventually plug those plugs into some nice logs and get something growing. I definitely made too much of this, but it's not a big deal. We're just going to take our jars, shake down the substrate into those top ridges so we just have this nice layer for colonization. I might see if I can pack a little bit more in that one. Renegade did it in two layers where he did his sawdust first, his saturated sawdust, and then the, uh, the grain on top. But I think that this should probably work just fine. It may just take a little bit longer. But outdoor growing is a much more a much more time consuming process from what I've seen. It just takes longer to get established and to do it right because you are competing in a more natural environment out there. Don't want to pack it down too tight. And that should be good for both of these jars. Throw a nice lid on. Now we can go cover these with aluminum foil and uh, pressure cook. I'm going to send them probably for... Uh, 
an hour just to be safe just because of those oats that I have in the top at least an hour I should probably be doing longer but I mean it's not like this is nutritious uh, still just a project that I'd rather be safe than sorry I'll go throw them in for about 45 minutes to an hour though in the pressure cooker and uh, we'll see how they hold up we should be able to inoculate them tomorrow though now we have both of our dowel jars with the oats and the hardwood fuel pellets that have been saturated, essentially just some soaking sawdust on top. We are going to get a shiitake syringe. I already have a bunch of these pulled, so I'll figure out one to use. Look at this uh, interesting little growth that this oyster is having in the syringe. Perfect. Right here we have a shiitake syringe that I pulled at the beginning of this year. And we're just going to go ahead and inject a few cc's into a uh, the top layer of both of these. I'm gonna sterilize my needle real quick. And I'll let that cool down for just a tad. And with the syringe now cooled down, we can inject a few cc's into both of our jars here. We will sterilize, recap the syringe. That's good for storage. And now we can print off some labels for these. Hopefully now in about a month, these will at least show some signs of colonization. We will do a break and shake as soon as we see that top layer start to get pretty well colonized. And then once we get to the new property, hopefully we'll be able to uh, get some nice logs. Go ahead and just use a cordless drill and drill some holes. Get in these plugs, about 50 to 100 for a log from what I've seen. And then in about a year or two from then, we will start getting uh, flushes. It'd be nice to just have some no effort flushes essentially though. We can get those into incubation now though. Give you a little bit of a closer look. Just the dowels with the sawdust and the oats on top. I didn't layer them specifically like renegade mushrooms did. I just uh, mixed them together in a pot. Well, I guess you guys saw that earlier, but I just boiled the water softened the oats, and then threw in some hardwood pellets to absorb the water, and uh, threw that on top of here. But let's get them into incubation. This is just the uh, leftover hardwood and oats that I used to top the dowel pins for outdoor logs. Uh, I figured I'm gonna make this maybe some indoor spawn and just see if something takes hold rather than waste all that. Nice to do something like really aggressive. Maybe I'll just do a nice pearl oyster. Look at this pearl oyster that fruited. Like within. Maybe I'll try and use that up so the, this syringe doesn't go to waste. Let's go ahead and do that. We've got some pearl oyster. This is from the beginning of the year. Then we have this. It's already been sterilized. We did this earlier. While we're waiting for everything to dry here too, we're gonna go ahead and just sterilize this needle tip. What I'm, okay, so this is probably fruited inside of the syringe tip, so what we're gonna do here is, yeah, there we go. Purge some out. Now you should hear the liquid sizzling. The mushroom's cooking inside the needle tip, <laughs> and we'll uh, let that cool down while everything else is drying off. We are just gonna go ahead and pre-label everything real quick, while everything should be cooled down by now, dried off. We'll go ahead and clean off our hands one more time. Our uh, label for documentation and tracking purposes. I don't usually throw those on the jar, but uh, for whatever reason, this entire jar, I don't... The oats in there weren't properly, like, cooked. They were just boiled for a little bit, weren't dried. Threw some uh, hardwood in there to kind of soak up the water in the pot, and then uh, topped the jars with it, and then it sat out here for a little bit, and I decided I didn't want to throw it all out, and I just threw it all into a jar. With this sterilized syringe, though, we'll go ahead and just go in through our injection port. Give it a good few cc's and pull that back out. We'll re-sterilize the needle just before capping it up. I just try and keep them clean and try to get that liquid out of the syringe too. Really, I should be capping these, but these are all personal use, so I try and uh, use them up before stuff like that happens, but you just get so many projects going at once, you know, sometimes they just pile. Now we got that inoculated though, we can go ahead and move this off into uh, incubation. Let's take a peek at the incubation area as well. I don't think I've shown that off in a while. Over here in the incubation area, there's not too much going on. 
We have all of our labels on everything. Our liquid culture is pretty much all over here. Grain and our plugs and everything is going to be over here. Definitely a lot that I have going. I'm expanding, cleaning up, and a lot of projects that I'm working on on the side as well. But this is the condition of everything. We have this nice little cheap, I spent like 30 bucks on this little spinner. And we have an assortment of stir bars that I like to use in the liquid cultures. And I'm transitioning from these old aluminum lids to all these plastic lids. But we're about to have a whole new grow area. So I'm going to be expanding kind of my whole lab setup uh, as I move. Let's take a peek at those dowels that we inoculated. You can see that it's starting to spread the mycelium. It's starting to get down into those uh, dowel rods. I don't know how well you can actually see that, but it is uh, starting to penetrate them. It's going to take a while. This has been about a, a week and a half, so we are going to go ahead and let them go a little bit longer before we break and shake and try to uh, mix up that mycelium. But they're inoculating very well. We'll just let them continue to colonize. Here is also that uh, leftover starter that we put at the top of those dowels that is uh, colonizing really well with that pearl oyster. So once they're all colonized, this will be sent to uh, normal substrate and fruited. There's already a bunch of hardwood in here, so maybe I'll just fruit it out of the top and see what happens. Now with uh, both of these colonizing pretty well, we'll just continue to let them go. It's been a few weeks since we did these. So throughout the upcoming weeks, we will continue to let these colonize. And once these dowels are fully colonized with the shiitake mycelium, we can prepare our outdoor logs. That'll be pretty straightforward. We'll just have to drill some holes in them, plug them with the dowels, and then cap them with like a beeswax, a candle wax, or something like that, just to prevent bugs from getting inside. And then we will let that log colonize, make sure it stays in a dark kind of moist area, keep it hydrated if it needs to be, and in about a year we should hopefully get our first harvest. That does conclude today's video though. Thank you very much for joining and we'll see you in the next one.